The earliest years of movie picture and cinematic storytelling in Britain go back as far as 1895 with the first working 35mm camera in Britain made by Robert W. Paul and Bert Akers. In the early 20th century, Rosalind began to make films of actual narratives, primarily melodramas and comedies. There was also a preference for already known stories, such as adaptations of the works of Shakespeare and Charles Dickens. Sound is introduced in 1929 with Alfred Hitchcock's Blackmail, regarded as the first British sound feature. By the end of the 1930s, one quarter of all cinemas in Britain were controlled by one of three chains, Gaumont British, ABC Cinemas and Odeon Cinemas, the commercial success for any British film would hinge on the booking of one of these chains. Enter John Grierson, a Scottish filmmaker who coined the term documentary in review of Robert J. Flatterty's Moana, saying that the film had documentary value. In 1929, Grierson made Drifters, and then following its success, he established the documentary film movement at the Empire Marketing Board, a government organisation. In the mid-30s, Grierson and some of his associates left to found independent film production units, and they made reported films such as Children at School. One of Grierson's achievements was to provide women of opportunities to direct and produce documentaries, namely Evelyn Spice and his sisters Marion and Ruby Grierson. In 1946, the British Federation of Film Societies, BFFS, or known by Cinema for All since 2014, is the national organisation for developing and supporting film societies and community cinemas in the UK. Cinema for All's purpose is to support, advise and fund volunteer that cinema and community groups across the UK. According to the website, 25% of films shown by community groups are UK productions although they do not have another count for how many films shown by these groups are indie or British indie, they are still instrumental in increasing passion and interest for all kinds of films, including indie. Prior to the establishment of the BFFS, the British Film Institute is established in 1933. It is a charitable organisation which receives funds from the National Lottery and Fund for Culture, Media and Sport to encourage film production, distribution and education, as well as for the preservation of film in the BFI National Archive, previously named the National Film Library until 1955. The BFI provides funding to filmmakers, young and experienced, including those working completely independent of any sort of organisation, and also operates many courses for young filmmakers to learn the tools of the trade. The BFI also runs a video streaming service called the BFI Player, which primarily hosts of more obscure productions. Now let's talk about some independently made British films that made a lasting and significant impression on audiences, national or international. The Man Who Fell to Earth, released in 1976, is a sci-fi drama starring David Bowie as a lead role of Newton and directed by Nicholas Rogue. Rogue managed to secure 1.5 million from Paramount just for the rights to distribution in the USA after they distributed his previous film, though they had no hand in the production of the film. Popular for its surrealist visuals and regarded to be one of the most significant sci-fi movies of all time, this movie deals in themes of grief, alienation, love and more. With Neil and I is a black comedy film released in 1987, written and directed by Bruce Robinson, about two unemployed actors traveling off to a country cottage owned by With Neil's eccentric uncle for a weekend holiday. It deals with themes of ambition, recklessness, disappointment, and the dissolution of relationships. With Neil and I both several spots in greatest film lists, including the BFI's Greatest British Films catalog, Channel 4's 100 Greatest Films poll, and an Empire's 500 Greatest Films of All Time list. A number of American directors cite With Neil and I as inspirations to them, including Shane Black, James Plumstolt, and Tom DeCilio, who are all well known for their independent films. Trainspotting is another similar movie, a black comedy released in 1996 directed by Danny Boyle. Trainspotting saw much greater commercial success though than With Neil and I, having had a budget of just $1.5 million and earning over $78 million in the box office. Trainspotting is about a group of heroin addicts in Edinburgh trying to get through life with their problems including poverty and the squalor of the city. Its release and popularity sparked controversy on whether or not the film glamorised and promoted drug use, including US Senator Bob Dole during his run in the 1996 presidential campaign. Danny Boyle says in an interview with the BBC, We were determined to show why people took drugs. You had to show that it was fun and that it was also awful and it's the music and humour that makes people feel like it's glamorising drugs. Trainspotting being set in the 1980s also takes the opportunity to tackle other contemporary problems, including the AIDS epidemic in the UK. Like with Neil before it, Trainspotting boasts the 10th spot on the BFI's Top 100 British Films of All Time list, and Channel 4 dubbed it the greatest British film ever made in 2004.